Welcome to the Astra SIP Terminals Hardware Overview 6730i series. In the last lesson, we covered the 6750i series of phones and two expansion modules. In this lesson, we'll continue with the 6730i series of phones. This includes the following three phones, the 6730i, 6731i, and the 6739i. The first two phones I'll start off with are the 6730i and 6731i. These two phones are very similar. You'll notice that when you receive an Astra SIP phone, many of the components in the box are the same regardless of the model. For the 6730 series, you'll receive your phone, the handset and cord, an Ethernet cable, the adjustable legs, the power adapter and cord, a wall mounting kit, and the user guide is now on CD. In the previous lesson, you've already seen many of the keys and buttons, but I'll go through them quickly here so that you can see the layout of the 6730i and 31i phones. We have the left and right and up and down arrow keys, then we have the hold, redial, and goodbye keys, a standard dial pad, you have your volume control buttons at the bottom, and the mute button in between those. On the right hand side, is the Options button. This takes you into the Options menu, which we'll go into in a later module. The Callers key, which accesses your call log. These phones have a dedicated key for the conference and transfer features, two hard-coded line keys, and a speaker toggle button. Now let's turn the phone around and look at the connectors on the back. When we take a side-by-side -side look at the back of these phones, the first thing that you'll see is that the 6730i only has one Ethernet port. They each have a LAN connection, but the 6731i has the dual switch port, which allows it to share the network connection with another device, such as a PC. The next thing that you'll see is that the power connector is in the corner. The 6730i phone requires the power adapter. The 6731i supports power over Ethernet, so it has the option to use either power over Ethernet or the power adapter. Now let's turn the phone back around and then turn the phone over and look at the connector on the bottom of the phone. You'll notice on the bottom of the 6730i and 31i phones that they only have one jack. This jack has a dual purpose. It can be used for either the handset or a headset. And because they share the same jack, only one handset or headset can be used at a time. The way that you select to use a handset or a headset is through the Options menu. I've told you that we'll cover the Options menu in a later lesson which we will, but it seems appropriate to at least show you the path in the options menu so that you can see that it's a two-step process, first using the physical connector to connect either a handset or a headset, and then using the options menu to select either the handset or a headset. As you can see here, once you press the options button, then in the menus you would select preferences, set audio, audio mode, then you would select one of these four audio modes. And a quick note, by default, the volume for the headset microphone is set to medium. The 6730i and 31i look very similar and have similar features. But the 6731i has a second Ethernet port and can support power over Ethernet. Now let's move on to the 6739i. You'll notice many differences with this executive level SIP phone. First, it uses a 640 by 480 VGA color touchscreen, and the button layout has been designed to include hard-coded keys for the most commonly used features. Starting in the upper left, we have the Options key, the Callers key for accessing your call logs, a Directory key for accessing personal and corporate directories, a Services key for accessing a variety of features such as Call Forward, a conference and transfer key. Then we have the hold, redial, and goodbye keys, your standard dial pad, your volume controls, and your mute key. 
a messages key for accessing voicemail, three hard-coded line keys, and a speaker, handset, and headset toggle key. When we look at the back of the phone, you'll see that the 6739i has dual gigabit Ethernet ports. It supports power over Ethernet or can be powered by an AC adapter. And the PC jack can be used to provide a network connection to another Ethernet device. There is also a USB connector that will be used for future applications. Now let's turn the phone over and look at the bottom of the phone. Before we look at the connectors, let's talk about a very important enhancement that's been added to the 6739i. This is a built-in Bluetooth adapter. This allows the pairing with any standard Bluetooth headset. And if your headset supports dual pairing, you can have it paired with both your cell phone and the 6739i. And of course with Bluetooth, you not only get a wireless connection, you also get the remote answer feature. Now let's move on to the wired connections. There are three connectors grouped together. The first connector is where you would plug the standard handset that came with the phone. The second connector is for a wired headset. And the third connector is marked auxiliary. The auxiliary jack has been designed to support an EHS device or electronic hook switch. It's also been designed to support a DHSG compatible headset. DHSG is what gives your wireless headset the remote answer option. Be sure to follow the installation instructions provided with your DHSG headset. The next connector is the expansion module connector. The 6739i supports both the M670i and M675i with a maximum of three expansion modules per phone. The last connector is a high density expansion bus which will be used in a future application. Now let's take a look at some more details and features of the 6739i. The first thing you probably noticed is the large 5.7 inch full VGA color touchscreen display. It has integrated gigabit Ethernet, Bluetooth, USB, and expansion module support. The Astra 6739i takes audio quality to the next level with the Astra wideband technology. It also has an additional headset connection which can support an EHS or DHSG compatible device. The 6739i can support up to 9 lines with call appearances and with the touchscreen display can support up to 55 programmable soft keys plus it supports XML and power over Ethernet. Navigation of the soft keys, feature keys and menus are made easy with the touchscreen display. You can adjust the screen's contrast and brightness levels and it has LCD power saving features. The 6739i supports Picture ID instead of just the text-based caller ID. Picture ID is available on incoming and outgoing calls, your callers list, redial list, and directory. Adding and editing directory entries and configuration parameters has been made very easy by using the on-screen standard keyboard. Tap on the entry field, then enter the letters and numbers as required. Now let me give you a few moments to review some of the highlights that we've seen in the 6730 series of phones. That completes this lesson on the 6730i series of phones.